Oh, hello. I'm Will Mears, and this is my good friend Edgar. And we're here, and today we're in Prairie Village, and we're working on an irrigation system, as well as a lot of landscaping. Come with me, and we'll tell you about it. Come on, Edgar. Okay, so this is what often people refer to as a dingo, or a miniature skid steer. Hop on up there, Edgar. Show them how that thing works. So what happens, go ahead and turn it on, you're good. So what happens with this is, go ahead and turn the PPO on. It shakes really good, and it, it, it installs the pipe to where it's a vibratory plow, and it pulls the, the pipe in the ground to where it's a... Uh, so here, look right here. This is a, a short pipe that was pulled. Kind of back up just a little bit. So this is a short pipe that was pulled. This is actually mainline. <coughs> this is a short pipe that was pulled. And you can tell it kind of messes it up a little bit. We drive over with the machine and it kind of recesses it back into the ground. Here's one that's been driven over. You can kind of tell, here's a root that came out. You can kind of tell, but honestly, after about six months, maybe a year, you can't really tell that much. And often people reseed after an irrigation stone. This is the first day, it's quite destructive. It's very scary the first time that a client sees it. But what happens is that's day one, and then there's about four to six days after that where we hand dig all these connections, and then we have to, um, <coughs> pardon me, install the heads and install the valves. Uh, that part, really the whole system takes about a week, but day one is where we use a vibratory plow and we're installing all the pipes so that it actually uh, goes in the ground without trenching. Trenching is pretty old school. We're not doing any trenching now. Everything is a vibratory plow. So, Anyways, thank you. Have a good day.